to carry You should be happy You should be happy Hey, this is Patrick Jacobson, and you're listening to CJUC The Juice. The Juice Dispatch, a new CJUC program of in-depth reporting on local civic issues, Sundays and Tuesdays at 1 p.m.
eyes had swallowed caution and promise burned the crack. No more from the years vast hollow, nor creak the frozen sadness. I step into his arms and fall in love's bed. Hey, compare, ci vuoi suonare? Chi si suona un friscaletto? E come si suona un friscaletto? Un friscaletto e tipiti tipiti ta. Hey, compare. Good evening, welcome to Shine Your Light. And our last show of 2023. My name is Toots. You're on CJUC 92.5, based here in Whitehorse, Yukon. By the Yukon River. Today, we have Alligator Girl. That's me. Hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Have you been here, been here before, on no, CJUC I've, before? No, I've never even been in this building. Oh, wow. I know. Well, welcome again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me and the building. Um, how are you doing? Are you looking forward to this? Are you a bit nervous? Are you a bit... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. A little nervous, but, you know, nor- What's the normies. I like to think I'm sort of, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the normies, like, I, was, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a term, isn't that a term? Is it a UK term? We have for, like, basic people. Yeah, norm- well, yeah. Norm- I, I regretted it as, I regretted it as it soon is. as I said it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, yeah, cause I, I think what Cal's trying to say is the she's experiencing the normal amount <laughs> for her uh, performance anxiety. Right, okay. She's got yeah. the normies. Yeah, right. I got the normies. It just struck me because I haven't heard that in ages. Yeah, it's not it's a thing. It's, it's not like really about, something. 25 men say. named Norman are like at your door. Yeah. It's, oh, I got the yeah. normies again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nommy, nommy, nommy. That's what they sound like. Uh, um, all right, so wait. So how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah really so, good. So Alligator Girl, what is what is it about? Where did it come from? How long has it been uh, in existence? I used to call myself Tender Flake for a long time. Uh, I didn't know that was a lard at the time when <laughs> really? I called myself that. No. <laughs> Brilliant name. Yeah. Uh, and then, I don't know, somebody one day was just like, uh, I was working at the 98, and they were like, oh, you got a real toothsome smile like an alligator. And I just liked it. And oh, wow. I just stuck with it since then. Was that meant as a compliment? I suppose it is. I don't know. I liked it. I like my big gummy some smile. If I, to, <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say yeah. 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 He meant he didn't mean it in a in a in a crappy way. Yeah. Your teeth are all fucked up. And <laughs> you look like something out of the Florida Everglades. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Alligators Tender are cool. Flake. Alliga- yeah. Did you perform as Tender Flake? I did. Would I have seen Tender Flake before? I don't think so. It would have been like ten years ago. First oh. show was at the Gold Rush. Definitely not. Back in the day when they used to still be cool. Before Sorry. <laughs> Envy something. Uh, no, they owned it when I was working there, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I loved working there. I it feel was like great. It's going to be a lot of Yukon references. I don't understand. Uh. <laughs> 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 get your, get your paper the Gold Rush used to be cool. They used to, yeah, they used to have like a lot of live music all the time. And it was kind of a blues bar. Mics. Yeah, it was cool. It had sort of like a vibe to the music. It, you could go there and expect to see like roughly the same thing at like a high right. caliber. You know. Had it always been a sort of sports bar as well? Or was that after yeah. the music? Yeah, it had always been. It was sporty sports still, yeah. But they then they'd have music at nighttime till like 11. But bam, at 11, shut it off. Wow. I remember cutting Ben Mahoney off once. 10 just even. Like, no, it was 10. Or it was 10. It was, it was 10. early because of the hotel guests. And but it was a good gig because you finished at 10. You were like, let's go play the other gig. It's true. And well, I never did that, but... <laughs> Aiden, last time... Well, last time we were together, you also said there was live music in Woodcutters by the Toilets are. Yeah, yeah, actually, my first gig ever as Garbage Man, I got hired by Kalina, yeah. aka used to Alligator run that Girl, uh, uh-huh. to uh, to do that show. So Cool. What uh, happened to that? the live music there? Well, once they built that addition, it's kind of hard to... Oh, this is pre-addition. This is pre-addition. It was oh. just the cabin. Right. And so I kind of like, we had a, a washroom downstairs that we would use as well, and I just set up a little like stage area there, and we just turned off all the lights. The demand for needing to go to the washroom... Was higher, oh, was higher than the demand for music. <laughs> <laughs> Out the way. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's kind of too hard to like, with the addition, the way it's spaced now, there's not really a way that everybody would able, be able to enjoy the music. I, I loved those gigs though. Like, Yeah, they were great. One of my first gigs of the Half Cuts back in the day with Beth and Davies was, was there too. Yeah, Rendezvous. It's a million times Whoa. better than playing at like Whiskey Jacks or something like that. I've never played there. Huh. All the places are great though. 
Yeah. Yep. You don't have to say. You don't have to. I, suppose I haven't played that whiskey jack, so no. I can't. I can't. Uh, uh, it's just no, more like right. um, d- it's just dif- a different atmosphere. If I was in like a country band or something, I'd rather play at whiskeys than at woodcutters. Right. Yeah. You know. If I, I was in an know, Irish could, band, I, I think I'd like to play at whiskeys. Yeah, that could be fun for sure. Totally. totally. Like yeah. a rock and for rough and rowdy times, like you know, honky kicks. tonk music. Yeah, I haven't actually played like that many shows, to be honest. As Alligator Girl, just a couple now. And then uh, I was in the Half Cuts and the Hot Special. We've played a few shows, but not a ton. Is there a reason for that? Are you, do, you, do you seek it out or try not to seek it out? What's the opposite of seek it out? Uh, Run away. I kind of just do nothing and just right. wait. <laughs> just it's wait. like fight, flight, or freeze. Yeah, like I just, just like, freeze. I just, yeah, it's I mean, like an ambush predator, right? Yeah. So it's not like out there looking for like different things, just like waits wow, quietly see, yeah. and then the prey it's will come to them and then just hide in the background and then bah, That's bite why your head you off. That's called alligator girl. Yeah. Just waiting for the wildebeest. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just, uh, I I like playing music, but I, I, uh, I don't know. I have just a small town and, and I think. You know, you don't want to over overplay. People get sick of your songs. I think mm. sometimes, unless you're like, you know. I think it go either way. They can go either way. You yeah, go sick or go like it there's depends. A, there's a fine line. Well, you know, especially because my line music it. is a bit softer, a bit more emotional. I find it's not something everybody wants to hear all the time at a bar. You know? Yeah. They're like having their beer, and I'm like, oh, I have a song called Depression, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to play that in Decora. You know, the garden center. That's what I want to hear when I'm looking for cacti. What? A song about depression. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, you're not going to hear it today. I'm not playing it today, but <laughs> well, <I'm not laughs> you'll have to come to my next show. And depression <laughs> go good together for you. <laughs> you know, spiky <laughs> and don't get too close. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Do you identify Dehydrated with cacti? For months. <laughs> yeah. Cacti boy. They call me. Um, all right. Should we hear your first track? Yeah, sure. Uh, this song is called "Break Free."
I'm hearing like cranberries and there's someone else I'm hearing and I was like thinking who it was and maybe oh, it'll come to me. I've gotten that before actually. Yeah. I have. There's That's someone a very nice compliment. She's a phenomenal singer. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Um and f- a fun fact about the cranberries, I had a friend in public school and uh the lead singer was her aunt. I can't remember my friend's name and I feel really bad. Michelle? No. Oh, was Tara. Your well, it was like, you know, I was in the grade like 3 and I think oh. I went to a party a couple times. This is in something. Ireland? In Ireland? No. Wasn't she? I was, no, but she lives in Ireland, but I was living, oh, right. I was in Aurelia. This was her aunt. So it was, I, right. I, I never met her or anything Extended. cool like that. I just, she told me that. Was it true, actually? I don't know 100% if that's actually even true. <laughs> yeah. I, was, yeah. I could say my aunt is. But big. there's no, I mean, I don't know. Dolly we were Parton. in like grade three. There wasn't really enough reason for her to lie about that, I feel like. No, but often with kids, it's just that the weird thing about them, how fucked up they are. There's no reason ever for their lives. It's true. I think it was yeah, true. But it happens anyway. Like, did your parents never like have some weird thing that they like bullshitted you for years and years and years about just because they could? Yeah, I I don't know exactly, but I know the feeling of disappointment very well of finding out what <laughs> that was never true. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, that's kind of more like it. Yeah, that's so annoying now thinking about it. <laughs> like, I swear I carried that through. I carried something and it would just never be true. It was just a. Don't you parents just, just say it. something just to get you to behave? Sometimes. It used yeah. to like trigger me so much when I found out that's what they were doing. So you, this, none of this is true. You just want me to shut up. It's true. I was talking to Aiden about this, about Santa the other day and how parents use it to like kind of manipulate their kids. Like, well, you better do this or Santa's not. And I think that's weird, man. Yeah. I think manipulating you. I think Santa's great. They should magic train their children not to fear Santa, but, but to fear their parents. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the lump no, of coal thing. Not. What? Yeah, the Cr- Christmas is, is all kinds of fucked up, but we're past I got a that. stick in my boot for St. Nicholas Day once. It's twice. like a German holiday and uh, twice actually. Yeah, this this Christmas this St. Nicholas Day I got a stick in my boot and when I was like 6 years old I got a stick. What do you mean? St. Nicholas is like a German holiday. It's on the 6th or the 12th of December, I think. Or tw- uh, 12th of December. And you put your boot your boot out mm-hmm. and when you wake up in the morning, uh, you have treats and things in it, but if you're bad, you get a stick. Oh, and I, I didn't get you a different version a of a stocking kind of. Yeah. Right. But uh, I got a stick for real once, and I was so sad. So are you German of ancestry? I am. Oh, I yes. see. What's your yeah. last name again? Vakta. Vakta? <laughs> yeah, Wachter. Vakta. But, yeah. <laughs> so is that as big as Christmas Day in German culture? Is that like no. the main event? No, 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 no. It's just like a small little thing. And my mom always did it for us. And It's and, like uh, if anything, Christmas is bigger Nicholas there. They have more little listening. features like that, mm. you know? Yeah. Very like nick, yeah, traditional with their knickknacks. I yeah, think. yes, yeah. We, it's mostly candy, honestly, though, or a stick. Yeah. <laughs> you should turn that into a cocktail, just a boot. A boot. Yeah. Yeah. Stick in a boot. I feel like. Uh, I Are feel you like thinking about sticking a boot? <laughs> didn't uh, there was a movie Beer Beer Fest? They drank out of a boot. They did. And they had to do but like for a all cool, the wrong reasons. Know. Well, I mean, put beer in anything, I'll probably have it. That's it. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your next song piece? Uh, the next song is called Time Slows. Oh, this is one of my personal favorites. <clears throat> it's kind of about uh, being in a relationship and and uh, watching the person drift away slowly. Mm. And then they're gone. <laughs> <clears throat> are you ready? Uh, you listener, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. My heart is mine, something not for you There's nothing that I wouldn't do for you Would you do the same for me? Would you drown in the deep sea for me?
Sadly, no, he's still with us. <laughs> so I ask him. He's, he's so. no longer with us. <laughs> sound, it was going to sound wrong. Um. It's because it's, yeah, New Year's Eve tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the end of a year. I just I just assumed rescheduling the show today that you wouldn't have wanted to do it tomorrow. But maybe we could have done it tomorrow and it would have been nice. I don't know. Today was perfect, honestly. I mean, I work tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day in the service industry. Oh, yeah, of course, you know. yeah. It's a good day to work. Is it going to be busy? Is it going to be packed? I th- I want to say probably. Because every there's like a show everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, I bet you we're going to be like super busy for dinner, and then we'll have a regular crew. Yeah, that'll stay, and then until the, you're doing the countdown. Sort of oh thing. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Even if there's even if there's if like you, four people in the bar, we're doing yeah, it. If yeah. you close at like eleven thirty. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> I played this awesome New Year's Eve gig one time in um, Ontario, Sudbury, and they used to have this big grandfather clock on the stage, and it'll be like. They brought it out for no, it's not always there, but, but they brought it out for New Year's, Year's Eve because <clears throat> it was tradition that they would do it, whatever. And everyone was into it, you know, with countdown, everyone's in the air, blah blah blah. And everyone was so <laughs> hyped that there was nothing we could possibly do after mm. to like take the show up a notch. So I just physically unwound the clock and we did it again <laughs> <laughs> to get to like give the 12 yeah. dong. The only thing that can top midnight is another midnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember once at the Wayfair, we actually uh, we closed before midnight because there was nobody there, and it was like we did this like really amazing. New Year's Eve dinner menu, like seven courses, you know, Brian's a, a genius kind of thing. And then everybody left and they all went to like their parties and there was nobody there. We waited from 11 to like, it was like 11.40 and we're like, well, I guess we locked the doors and we just busted out champagne for the staff and rang oh, it wow. together. It was kind of nice. Yeah, I suppose. It was nice. Have I liked you it. Um, ever heard the uh, the George Harrison song, Ding Dong, Ding Dong? No. no. It's my official new favorite New Year's all song. Right. Check it out, You folks. play it on zero or do you play it three minutes and then it finishes? You just play whenever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, <laughs> how do you count down then? I can only count up. <laughs> one, <laughs> two. two. <laughs> Fair enough. Everyone's happy new year. Aiden's still counting. <laughs> 16. Aiden could count to two and drink his 18, booze. <laughs> 19. Cool. How was your Christmas? Are you into it? I am into it, yeah. It was nice. It was pretty relaxing, chills, like me and Aiden and his mom and... Uh, just a couple friends. We had a little Christmas jam. It was, you know, it was one of the nicer Christmases I've had in a few years. Oh, that's nice. As yeah, far as like nice. low pressure, all the things I wanted. That's what wanted I like. Not like Keep physical it. things, but like some of those. What two. are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, just like you know, I want to have like a, a good jam no with some of my shit. friends. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Queen got me an amazing gift. It's a it's a Beta fifty eight. Um, What's that? It's like a 58, but better. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it depends it, on it depends on your voice, I think. For me, it suits my voice really well. And so if it, you know, this is a regular 58, which sounds just fine. This is the industry standard for the last like almost 100 years. But if you put it, the the, the beta one right beside, you'd hear the difference. Oh, You I know, see. just a broader range. He's Whoops. talking about microphone listeners at home. I guess <laughs> anyone wanted to know. Yeah. I got a good gift too. It made me... um. He took all my pedals and made me a pedal board, and I had like a custom fuzz pedal made for me, so that was pretty cool. Because I, I I play electric a lot too. Oh, um, yeah. I'm trying to kind of gear up to turn this project into a band. Yeah, eventually. full band. And uh, in the new year, I just wanted to get you a gift that was musical and kind of cool. Yeah, it was fun. great. It was a it was a great gift. And the and the cool part case. was I got to take her car or her guitar, which is sne- a nice sneakily. Guitar. <laughs> and then take it down to the pedal maker and try like you know oh let's let's try this one let's try that. And really dial it in. So yeah, shout out to you Dawson don't for uh, making that You don't always get that, that pedal. privilege, so shout out to Dawson. It's an awesome sounding fuzz pedal. It's if you awesome. want a custom fuzz pedal, he's the man. Cool. So this is going to maybe develop into a band. Full yeah, band, I've got a couple a couple people on the roster for um for the new year. To, to i got a bassist, Sarah Hamilton, and uh, Josh Mack on drums. Boop, boop. Yeah, I feel pretty, pretty uh, lucky to play with such talented musicians. And I'm stoked to get to be a lead guitarist in a band. That's... Super never happened, and except I'm in s- your own band. Yeah, but it <laughs> it's not the same dynamic. Like, you know, it's true. Why? Because the pressure's off of like, yeah, carrying it in a sense, yeah. and you can just. I don't have shred. to. Yeah, I can. You know, I can <clears throat> focus more on are my parts musical? Are they good? Are they supporting the song without 
also like engagement with the audience, remembering all the lyrics, singing, playing, the directing lyrics are the hard, band. Man. It's like <laughs> even for your own songs. When you can <laughs> let go of, of certain parts of what you have to do, then other aspects of your playing, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can dive into that more. Mm. I, I can g- think about what I'm playing way more. Yeah. I get distracted so easily. Like sometimes we'll just be practicing and I just get, you know, I'll be watching Aiden play and then I have no idea where we are in the song or what my lyrics are, even though I've written this song. I don't know. Well, how he'll remind me of where we're, where we're at. I feel like you know <laughs> better you than me sometimes. Again, right? <laughs> Do you feel uh, like the pressure of being a front person of a band, of like everyone sort of looking to you? No, it used to bother me. Um, it doesn't really anymore. I don't know. I just kind of approach an audience like I would meeting anybody for the first time. I'm no, I mean the band members. Like, are you comfortable? Like, I'm not oh, really in a band. Oh, people around? I'm like a yeah. solo. You, no, okay. no problem. You wouldn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Put my bossy pants on, no problem. Right, okay. No, especially if you, especially if you, um, I mean, all the people I end up playing with are really good friends, and I think I think I, uh, I wouldn't call myself like a band leader, but they are my, uh, they are my songs. I have a direction. I have a sound I kind of want, but I like a lot of input as well. Yeah. And um, I, yeah, I mean, if you do something I don't like, I'll tell you, but. I think it's important that a band has a leader. Yeah. Or a democracy, you know, but a system. Yeah. I think I, I kind of am like, this is this is the direction I'm going. And really, you can do whatever you want. If you do something I don't like, I'll tell you. Kind of it thing. is good to have someone that, that, that is in the captain chair. That can yeah. Make yeah. Decisions. And I don't mind. It, I mean, I played in another band, the Half Cuts, for a long time. And it took me, they were always telling me I was the boss. And I was like, no. But I, uh, You don't want to be I, in, a, in a meandering thing where everyone I do. just I do. agrees <laughs> to disagree and can't Sometimes make up their I mind do. on dinner. And then like... But no, but no, I mean, I am, I am, you know, I care a lot about my songs, so I want them to sound a certain way, so it's good. Well, what I think you got a very eclectic group of people you're bringing in that totally. all have different skill sets and yeah. stuff. Like, I'm really looking forward to doing some singing with Sarah because she's yeah, so great too. at that. Yeah. And um, she's just so talented. And get to be in the position of lead guitarist while I do some of that. Yeah, yeah and, it's gonna and, be super fun for me. And having a full band will be nice. I can step a little bit away from from carrying rhythm as I'll have a, a whole section and. I can, you know, do some lead guitar parts and, and kind of Or put just the guitar down yeah, completely exactly, and be exactly. a lead singer, you know. I'm kind of excited to just see where that goes. But. What is the, like, if, if you could describe briefly for the audience, like, what is the direction you see this going musically, hmm. atmospherically? I, um, I don't know, truly. I just, I'm excited to play with these these musicians and, and uh, hopefully form a full band and, and uh, play a few shows and just see what happens. I mean... All of these other musicians are, are kind of, they all are in other bands as well, and they go on tour and, and do all that stuff, and I just hang back and chill in Whitehorse. So I'm happy to just play with them and play some shows and get to, I don't know, play my music. If it came to it for you to go on tour with this band, would you? Oh, yeah. You take oh, yeah, that'd be rad. Yeah. It's just kind of, a, you know, it's infancy of, you know, like us playing together is relatively new. Totally. And even if the songs, just as long as you have a good batch of songs, you can put a band together. You know, um, will they be different? Yeah. Will we, will they get changed? Will the arrangements change and stuff like absolutely. But I fundamentally believe that just if you have a good song, you can present it any number of different ways as long as the material is strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've played some of these songs that you're going to hear tonight with like Haley Warden, and they've sounded very different than when I play with Aiden or with Tom Pritchard um, back in the day, Kitten Puppy. Woo woo. But if you got a good <laughs> song, you can interpret it a bunch of different ways yeah. and you yeah. find the way you like the best with the current group you have. And and it's cool playing with lots of different musicians and, and seeing how that song kind of sounds different with everybody I play with. Totally. But they all have different parts or different harmonies or take it kind of their own little way. And I think that's really cool. Nice. Yeah. Should we hear number three, track number three? Yeah, we're going to do a song called Under the Big Top. Oh, yeah. And it's about, uh, it's kind of a story song. It's not really about me at all. I wrote it about a fantasy about, I don't know, two circus performers falling in love. Call them carnies. I like it better when you say they're carnies. Yeah, but these ones aren't, though. They're okay, like, okay. this is like, it's like, I pictured them as like, you know, it's like a knife thrower and like a, I don't know, lion tame, tamer. I don't cool. know. Something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sliding around in my chair here. Oh boy. And it's not autobiographical. No. You've never been a knife thrower. No, I did want to join Cirque du Soleil for a really long time, but I am not flexible. Uh, I don't really have any cool talents like that, so I gave up on it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea was cool, you know? Mm. Run away and join the circus. Just running away seems like the thing. Joining anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm kind of a loner, so I don't know how well that would work, but all right, here we go. 
under the big top. You're listening to CJC 92.5. The show is called Shine Your Light, the fourth season. This is the last show of 2023. And the last show of this season is next Sunday on the 7th. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Today we have alligator girl in the cabin. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Guten Tag. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> there's like I feel like there's a there's quite a undercurrent of darkness in your songs. Mm, mm-hmm, Is that mm-hmm. does that come easy to you writing? It does. It's definitely you know I think a lot of musicians it's a it's a way to process you know a lot of that darkness and sadness and loneliness that people feel. Does that I feel. Does it come easier writing songs about such things as opposed to writing song, like happy songs, Life is Great? Uh, I don't really write happy songs, Life is Great. Uh, <laughs> I'd mo- say there's some like in-betweens. Like, yeah, like, I've got a couple like more up. I, I think up you nail it, nail it on the like like the bittersweet. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like there's I've some, got a there's positive attitude. <laughs> like this, it's a song that's sad. The lyrics are sad. The melody is happy. And the story kind of brings it around in some way so that everything sort of works out at the end. doesn't have to be the fairy book ending, but do you know what I mean? Kind of, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. B- I, bittersweet uh, is, is how I would describe it. I, I have written a couple, like, happier songs, but I hate them. Mm. Like, I don't love them. And every time I bring them back, I'm like, what? Like, I was playing one for Aiden earlier, and I was kind of making fun of it. And I was just like, what is this? Like, <laughs> Do you listen to sort of that sort of... Op- I listen to I listen to everything. Right. I tr- I truly do. It kind of depends on my mood. Um, yeah, I listen to everything. I I don't really listen to metal, to be honest, and I don't really listen to pop country. But um, not saying they don't. They're not good genres. They're just not for me. No, that's good. That's fair. Yeah, because the, the people who do listen to everything, everything. I don't really trust that anyway. Yeah, I mean, I so think I have liars. a more. I think yeah. I have a more preferred style. I, I like a lot of like quieter kind of indie stuff. But I like some you know rock and roll too. I like really like seventies music and. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, 60s, 50s, 40s. I really like know. Megadeth, you know? He does. And, <laughs> it uh, gives me fucking anxiety. It couldn't, it couldn't. <laughs> She's like, okay, you've been talking about Megadeth for like a couple months now. Like, like, can I play you something? Like, I'll play you like one song. Well, of course, I want to put the candles on. Let's give this a real. Put a the real candles on. We can put a candle yeah. on for Megadeth. And I was like, okay, like I know what to expect, but I didn't know. And then you just said that I'm just like, I felt okay, like I was gonna have a heart attack. I'm like, you, you're probably not gonna dig this, but let's give it a try. And you were like visibly disturbed. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, are you okay? And you were like, no, oh, yeah, it's fine. This music's yeah, just like my heart anxiety. is like beating, my hands are sweating. I was like, I don't think I like this. Candles just I don't blow think I out. like this very much. Um, that being said, I I mean, f- crazy talented to be able to play music like that. I can't even imagine shredding like that. It's just incredible. Bro. It just taste is but so subjective, just, you know. Well, I want I don't want music to give me anxiety. I I like it for the opposite reason. And so anything that I'm listening to, it's funny. Is music like that because they're being so anxious? It, it reduces my own. Yeah, a lot of people feel that well, way. You know, yeah. a lot of people like. I that, think that's a like a, not for me. Like my uh, metalhead friend in high school, and I did not understand. Like he he liked like you know Avenged Sevenfold and on Dream Theater and stuff like that that I just couldn't get get behind. But he was just such a chill dude. And he's like, when I get frustrated, I go listen to some really loud, intense metal, and I'll feel better after. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like the difference between like I like listening to music that is already like describing the way i'm feeling yeah. like Same. as opposed to listening to music to change the way i'm feeling yeah, exactly. that never works for me it's like oh, it works i'm for feeling me sad so i have to listen to sad music. i'm with you on that one if i'm feeling yeah. really really sad or really low and i really need to like get my energy up or like get myself out of funk i put on shaggy i that wasn't i wasn't expecting time. i do i put on my headphones and i put on like mr boombastic and i and i just start and i start moving my body and i kind of like start dancing and shaggy always puts Maybe. me in a good mood i haven't man. tried shaggy out too though we were listening to a song the other day by shaggy and uh he was talking about not eating pussy and i was yeah, like yeah we shaggy had not argument eat vagina and if so i'm a little sad to Do say any more or just ever did I, the way the song sounded it was like he's not doing it and he, i was like i think his heck, argument man? is is like the loving he received from me is going to be so yeah past. which anything you've ever any guy experienced that ever that says i don't that. need like, i don't need to, to eat, eat your, your pussy, pussy because i'm gonna make love to you so good it's like bro <laughs> Yeah, we've heard well, that, that before. Like Shaggy. That does sound like. <laughs> but I would have suspected true. he would have. Uh, I think it's a put down. on. He goes downtown all the time. He does for seven o'clock. And he just on the radio. is acting tough like a rude boy. What was the song called? Do you know? I don't. I don't remember. It was like a, a kind of like a weird cut. A deep uh, cut off yeah. Hot Shot. We were listening to. <laughs> we really went down to Shaggy Hole one night. It was fun, but um, yeah, that's what I like to do when I when I need to not be depressed. Shaggy. All right. Shaggy. As he says. 
Uh, shout out to Shaggy. Shout out to Shaggy. If you're listening, Shaggy. You're of course listening, he's listening. He's like Santa Claus. He's an alligator girl's biggest fan. Turns out he puts on alligator girl when he needs to cry. Shaggy sure right. doesn't cry. On that note, um, yeah, let's hear it. What should we play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe. How about our next song? Yeah, that sounds like a good. I'm uh, slipping. Let's do slipping. All right. Uh, this song I wrote when I was 16. Uh, it's evolved a lot over the last. 12 years <laughs> but uh 20 years jesus 20 years <laughs> wait why'd you I was say like, 12 how old am i, I don't know. trying to do I the math <laughs> i was like how old am i <laughs> this is a running joke with me and my friends i, I never know how old i am but uh yeah uh, it's a song about not being seen and then not caring at the end There's some insight there for you say 16 year old yeah but i i finished the song as an adult 20 or 12 years later <laughs> yes <laughs> 20 okay 20 <laughs> 19 to be exact i know how old i am dudes that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time to be carrying a song a lot of my songs i've kind of uh some of these and not all of them but a good oh. Good for I got to see the uh, her old YouTube oh, channel. Oh, I'm on YouTube. If you want to oh, cringe, plug that. What is it? Oh, it's just my name, Kalina Walker. This is the kind of YouTube. thing you kind of want to plug your sync with. Like, yeah, it, it, it's it's cringy. First of all, that's rude. Some of the songs are nice. It's a joke. It's but, just trying but, to be funny. But but you were funny. It's it's cringy. It's like of I can't even. I have to like. Well, like, it's no. I think I'm like maybe like 18, 19, 20, 21 in these ones. They're including what's that lighting oh. where it's like. Uh, it's like all green and like weird. No, it's like a se- oh, sepia. sepia? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sepia. I was really into the fedora sepia. Fedora on top. I had a fedora. 
and, and then just your little intros of like, okay, this song. Oh, hi, it's me. It's like, oh, I just turn it down. If I need to like go back, so I'm like, oh, some of the songs are, I've, but, are but then, songs I'm playing today on the radio yeah, that have changed like a lot. Good but songs in there. like Yeah, but it's, it's cringy to watch. So check that out and uh, laugh at me. I would. Laugh with us. We're all laugh with us. Yeah, laugh with me at myself. Yeah. But it's uh, well, good for her for trying. Yeah, old you. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking about YouTube. It was the time, you know. Well, it's just people just use TikTok now. It's the same. Yeah, ten just, years ago, YouTube was like that was the thing. Yeah. Not that I wanted to be famous. I really yeah, I don't ask, care about you, that um, stuff. I you don't just know. wanted it recorded in some way. I think I wanted to record it, and I think I wanted to share it. I think, yeah. you know, my, my... Oh, there it is. He found it. Look at that fedora. <laughs> so bad. Oh, that's an extreme sepia. No, that one's not... I don't know what that what is. is. We've got some different is. effect going on here, but yeah, that's... that's yeah, I always what? had some sort of filter on because I was, like, edgy. Or, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's rock a cool hat, though. Bobbing up my hat. I wore a lot of fedoras back in the day, which... Oh, I wish you I didn't could. wear one today. <laughs> I don't think I've worn a fedora since I was like 22. Look how little, like, look how young I am there. Cute. I bet you weren't expecting this. No, <laughs> not at all. Bring up all your old videos. Not at all. You life. know what, though? There are some good songs in there, so check it out. Uh, and I'll play some of them tonight. They've changed quite a bit, obviously. My voice has changed, and my voice has gotten a lot lower. That's normal. Yeah. Well, I have this list of questions that I sometimes refer to, but on this list of questions, which is relevant to these videos, what advice would you give your younger self? Oh, don't wear fedoras. No, just <laughs> wear whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Um, I think I would tell myself to be nicer to myself. I'd tell mm -hmm. myself to go easy, go easy on myself. I'm pretty hard on myself, or I was. I'm a little better at it now, but and uh, and just to. Carry and set firm boundaries with That's people. That's a good one. Yeah. But I think those are the That's two main things. And then I'd, I'd give myself a hug and high five and maybe a little spanking and a little pat on. I meant to say a pat on the butt. <laughs> I don't know why I said spanking. <laughs> I meant to say a pat on the butt. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's what I What would you say to your younger self, Aiden? <laughs> Got five bucks I can borrow. <laughs> <laughs> you say that to him or he says that to you? <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> if you got five bucks, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I, and I'd say I'd say don't don't don't, don't, say. don't take things too too seriously. Truly, has music helped? Like playing music back then, like oh yeah, been playing yeah. music this whole time. Yeah, I went through quite a. I went through some trauma when I was young, and and uh, I think it really really helped me kind of push through that mm -hmm. and into adulthood and therapy. I'd I'd tell my younger self to go to therapy sooner. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, where I, well, where I'm from, no one goes to therapy anyway. So <laughs> it was been very. It's still of the. Do you guys realize in Canada, within the progressive Western cultures, just how I feel with experience coming from England, much more progressive you are than like places like the. Oh, interesting. Other Western cultures, like therapy's still the. Like I'm sure it's maybe our parents' generation or when we were younger, yeah, stigmatized of like, why are you going to therapy? What is wrong with you? Right. Something's That's wrong with still you. like that now. Everybody could go to therapy. Or it's Everybody, like someone, every single person. Something's wrong with them. Send them to therapy. Exactly. Like yeah. it's the only solution they could possibly have or yeah. got a drug problem? Oh, rehab will fix him. Yeah. It's like we need to start opening this conversation that there is no one size fits all just like school you know but when i say stuff like this people remind me i've only been to bc and yukon in canada and not all of canada is like this oh it's very different yeah. everywhere you go yeah um but I, as someone who you know has been to the uk a couple times obviously never ended up in a hospital or anything like that or had to see the medical system but i would have assumed that that, that theirs would have been a bit more progressive than ours i would have too to be honest I don't, well, I don't know about the system, but the people's mentality, not really. Right, no. interesting. Yeah. No. It's very old, like old country, old, old history and old stuck in the ways sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway, we're fast <coughs> running out of time. We have 15 minutes left. Okay, we perfect. Yeah, song? let's play. Um, I'll just talk forever and never play a song. Uh, let's do uh, Sick Ooh, or Ooh Woo Hoo, Kay. as you like to call it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh Woo Hoo. It's, it's the best way to remember it, truly. Uh, weirdly, I, I have to tune up really quick here, but I found it on um, I found it on my YouTube channel. I was like, oh, I didn't realize this song was that old. But then I remembered I played this song when I first moved to the Yukon ten years ago with Ben Mahoney at Arts in the Park, and uh, it's about it's definitely about addiction and, and being really lonely. Mm -hmm. 
I had to, at the time, I wrote it about a friend, actually. It's not about me, but sure. a friend really struggling with some, some addiction. And, and uh, I think, yeah. <clears throat> it used to be called Wash. That's what I was getting at. I got distracted. Count me in, boss. I got a sick, sick feeling inside my heart Oh, it's tearing me apart If I go down to the river and wash it all away Don't you think I would have done that yesterday? Ooh, 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 ooh. So you played that 10 years ago, Arts in the Park? I did, yeah. Cool. Ben Mahoney, it was a little different, um, obviously, but uh, yeah. So it's cool you've been um, carrying these songs for so long, I think. Yeah, a few of them. I keep, keep a couple in my back pocket. Mm-hmm. Ones I really like or ones that really stuck with me. Or little earworms, like that one gets really trapped in my head, you yeah. know. The woohoo part. <laughs> There's a lot oh. of good pop books in Cal's music and a lot of, like, even in just the initial, like, get together with someone that you haven't played with, learn some guitar parts. And then the ones that, like, you're singing the whole month until the next practice, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, there's something there. Yeah, yeah. I kind of chose some of them are, like, kind of quieter songs, I guess, for for this specific thing. We have a couple more rocking tunes, but... Um, um, and those ones kind of have the earworms, I think. But there's a couple. I don't know. Do you uh, have any shows coming up? Uh, no, I don't. We uh, we just played a, a show... And then uh, one, I'm just one open for garbage man on the thirteenth. Um, no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I feel like yeah. I feel like you <laughs> could. I just feel like you could get somebody um, like to pump uh, up the audience more. You know. You'd be surprised. I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Well, if you can't find anybody, I'll do it. I am. I booked that off. It could be a really sweet uh, live debut for that band. We haven't even jammed yet. In Carry all fairness. On. Okay, we'll talk about this later. But Inside uh, the band. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to jam with those with the, the two people I mentioned, Josh and Sarah, um, for a little bit and then and then play a show. So 
you know, maybe in the the late winter or yeah, late winter, February maybe. <laughs> March. <laughs> a few months perhaps. Yeah, a couple months. Yeah. That's my guess. Are you do you like to on the scale of perfectionist and whatever is the opposite of that, where do you think you fall? Uh under the me under the middle. In the like middle. A, on the lower end, I think, of perfectionism. I think. I don't Professionalism know. Professionalism or perfectionism? Perfectionism. I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist in any way in my music. Um, um you're not a perfectionist, but you care a lot. Yeah, I care and a lot, you... and I particular I'm particular, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. In general as a person, I think. Yeah, you know what you want. And... <laughs> yeah, I kind of have like an idea, but I but I don't think a perfectionist, you know, mistakes happen if I, m- I make a mistake at a show. I think the I term perfectionist gets gets kind of thrown around a lot as somebody who's like like Th- that degree is only f- 45 it needs to be 42.3 not to that extent no no but no. I, you do have some perfectionism in you because all right from you know the man himself. well sometimes from, people know you better than from you a do. man it's in true. the corner playing guitar yeah it's <laughs> a guy you know you there's times where you're like i don't like that part i want you to do this blah, 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 blah. you sure. know what you want you're clear yeah. and concise you have a yeah. vision which makes it way easier for me yeah i'm definitely direct but uh, but not a perfectionist when I was younger, this you know, saying be nicer to myself. When if I played a show and I would make a mistake or something, I would think about it for weeks. Right. And I was like, that's not what somebody's taking home from a performance. Yeah. One mistake or a little biff it, you know. And now you just laugh about it if you make a mistake or whoops, or, you know, yeah. start again. Whatever. It's I don't know. Did it ever get to a point where it put you off performing again? Like no. The the experience of no. like being vulnerable. And you're like, oh fuck. fuck no, 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 no. If anything, I I, I kind of like the feeling. Uh, it's not about like people watching, but the vulnerability of playing on stage. Yeah. I kind of like it really like humbles on a you. Knife edge I all the time, I, I feel like. No, I, no? I, I don't know. When I play, I also like bring uh, I bring couches and stuff, so I've ma- kind of set up like my living room in a at the bar. Really? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Oh. It was, I bring like lamps and, and wait for you or for the audience to sit on. No, no, for, for me. I put it on the <laughs> okay. stage, and oh, then wow. I'll usually have like a ton of candles, and I'll bring lamps and try to set them like, up. If you feel, I don't know. It just feel makes good me feel at home in your yeah. Practice how you play or whatever. Yeah. It's play like how you experience. practice. It's chill. <laughs> it just makes me feel a lot more relaxed. My very first show as Tenderflake, I brought a, a lazy boy and I just sat in that the whole time. Whoa. It depends on the band. I mean, when I played in the Half Guts, I stood up. I was playing electric and it's a bit more like rocky garage band kind of music. And But yeah, I like feeling vulnerable. It humbles you, connects you to people and makes you feel, I don't know. Something more, more human <laughs> makes you feel something. <laughs> and at it's the good end to of the day, something. It, is. it really is. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have five minutes left. Okay. Holy shit. Well, yeah, that's, that's quick. quick. So, time flies. Prior to song. your final song, I think feeling fine. Yeah. I think we should end with that. it's that or how, but feeling I think fine. feeling fine. And then, yeah. uh, who would you want to play you in your movie at the live? Oh, oh my god, movie. Jennifer Lawrence what am I to say? for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think she'd do well? Do you capture capture her essence? I think she would. Oh, yeah. that's a great question. What about you, Aiden? Steve Buscemi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. His face. Honestly, maybe more like all Rob, these muscles Robert Pattinson kind of like. No. No, no, no. no Steve, no, no. no, no, no. Steve's better. Steve's better. He's okay. gone way off that. All right. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> what, or what about the guy who's Harry Potter, uh, Danny Radcliffe? Oh, I bet you he could really yeah, nail that's you. That's good. That's you good. You guys kind of look alike. Because he had a washed up time too. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to really get inside the like. Yeah, he had some addiction stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little, little kind of wussy alcohol addiction. Okay, yeah. that's a real addiction. It don't don't okay. even. I'm just a joke. Don't even. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, well, we're going to play one more song called Feeling Fine, and it is one of my newer songs, I'd say. Not like those older, old, old crumbs of songs. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's about, what is it about? It's about being in love, but uh, things changing and feeling uh, scared. This is one of your happy songs. Uh, I think ish. so. It's one of the happier. Happier, uh, yes. We'll end on a, we'll, let, we'll leave you on 2023. We'll end on a s- sort of Sort of happy happy, happier. The, yeah, happier. <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. Feeling heavy, feeling fine. All right, thanks for being an alligator girl. Thanks for having us. It was actually really, it was really fun. Thank you, Brett, for doing sound. Thanks, yeah. Brett. Bill's thanks, Brett. Thanks, thanks, Bill, and for, thanks. you know, just doing all the bills. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. And thanks, Aiden. Paying the bills. Thanks, Aiden, for uh, playing guitar with me, because... No problem. It's pretty great. I never know how to count this one, and you want to count this one? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. No, oh, one more time. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Oh, 
restless thinking I guess Have I annoyed you yet? Are you gonna let me down like everybody else? Or am I, or am I just a clown? Stay busy most of the time, or so I don't lose my mind. Light a cigarette out on the porch, or so I can pass the time. Cause I'm feeling heavy, feeling fine, feeling right most of the time. Smoke too much, leave my shoes on the floor These flowers are dying, will you buy me more? The season is changing and so is my heart Oh please don't break my heart The leaves turn to gold And my heart is changing so You are listening to radio station CJUC 92.5 FM in Whitehorse, Yukon Territory. You're listening to CJUC. Don't do drugs and use your turn signals, will ya? Jesus. <laughs> 